Well hi there boys and girls. This is our last video of the year and this video is called the quotient rule. And before we do that I'm going to do a little cheesy shout out. This shout out goes to all three of my pre-cal classes. I have absolutely loved being your teacher this year and I hope that you've enjoyed my class and that you've learned a lot and that you've enjoyed the videos for the most part. Alright so let's go ahead and get after this quotient rule. And the quotient rule is how to find the derivative if you have a function that is the quotient of two other functions. And let's just say you don't want to divide the two functions by doing the long division or synthetic division or maybe you can't even divide them anyway. This is how we're going to find the derivative and it's just another formula. So h prime of x is going to be the bottom g of x times the derivative of the top, that's f prime, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom and this is all over the bottom squared. So we're just going to call that g of x squared. And it's not the derivative on the bottom, it's just g of x squared. And I've got a little ditty that goes along with this to help you remember. I'm going to refer to the top function f as the high function and the bottom function g as the low function. And if I say d, I mean derivative. So listen to this. It's not really a rap song because I don't like rap that much anyway. The only kind of rap I like is gift rap. So we're going to call it a ditty. Here's the ditty. It is low D high minus high D low over low low down below. And Carlos just walked in so he's probably coming in here to see if we have a video tonight. Or no, he's actually dropping off his, uh, his backpack. You want to say hi Carlos? Hey. Okay, that's Carlos. So let's take a look at this again. It's low D high minus high D low over low low down below. So that's how you remember that. Anyway, if you don't like that at all or you think that's silly, it doesn't matter. So let's go take a look at some a couple examples here. Here I've got a function A that is a quotient of F and G, and I want to find A prime at 4. So let's go ahead and do the formula. The formula is G F prime low D high minus high d low f g prime all over g squared. This is how I find the derivative of that quotient. So let's see if we can't plug them in. We want to evaluate all these at 4, so we're going to look at this row right here. So g of 4 is negative 3 times f prime of 4 is 9 minus and then f of 4 is 14 times g prime of 4 is 4 all over the bottom squared. Negative 3 squared of course is positive 9. So let's scoot on down here and see what this is. Negative 3 times 9, that's negative 27. 14 times 4 is 56 all over 9. So that is negative 83 over 9. And so our answer is E. Alright, let's take a look at another example where we've got a function divided by another function. And again, you could do long division here and try and work it out, but that's not going to be any fun. So let's just go ahead and do the derivative. The derivative is low d high, so it's the bottom function times the derivative of the top. The derivative of 2x is 2, so there's low d high, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and this is all over the bottom squared. Let's write it like that. So let's see if we can do some algebra here. Distribute our 2, we get 2 minus 6x squared, and then this is going to be plus 12x squared. Notice those two negatives made a positive, all over 1 minus 3x squared squared. And this simplifies to 6x squared plus 2 over 1 minus 3x squared squared, and so it looks like that that answer is C. So anyway, I thought I'd leave you with a couple little pictures here. Puppy dog waving. And a little heart. There we go. Okay, well, I will see you guys tomorrow.